My name is Dylan Kuhn and I'm a sales representative with Green Cover and I'm here to demonstrate to you today how to properly apply our biological and seed inoculants in the absence of a commercial seed treater or a bigger seed treater. Now certainly if you have one of those you can certainly use that. The one thing I would caution you is if you've ran a fungicide or anything like that through it to thoroughly clean it out before running any of our biological products through there. But for today's demonstration this is for smaller use or for those that do not have that, it's a pretty simple process. We're gonna, I'm gonna do, demonstrate two different styles. One with a cement mixer, more of a less labor intensive type, type style. And if you don't have something like that, we also have just a simple tub and a stirring type stick. So I'm gonna be using one of our cool season soil builder to demonstrate this. And I will be demonstrating the application of our couple of our dry products as well as our liquid products. So. The products I'm going to be demonstrating today are Exceed Peat Inoculant, Mycogreen NPK, Rhizobac Extend, AEA's BioCo Gold, AEA Seed Flare, and then Elevate Ag's Elevated Fungi. For this first demonstration, I'm going to be demonstrating applying our dry products. <clears throat> and for that, I have, uh, I have got a green iron oxide product here that I'm using really just as a demonstration purpose to be able to see it clearly on the seed as you apply it. So I've already pre-measured it out, but this would be like applying the Exceed Peat or the AA BioCoat Gold. Exceed Peat is one bag, a 75 ounce bag per 1,500 pounds of seed, and AA's BioCoat Gold is four ounces per 100 pounds of seed. Now, if you are applying a liquid product with either of these two, it is best to apply the dry product first and then the liquid product. First demonstration I will do is I'll do go ahead and do the, just the simple bucket and a stick measurement. So what you want to do, number one, is make sure the wind is in the proper direction so you don't get coated in it. And not that it's bad for you, but you just don't <clears throat> want to necessarily breathe it in. So simply just take and spread the desired amount that you need on the seed on top. And then it's real simple, but it's just a stir stick. Stir it around until you feel and see that it has been applied to the seed evenly. And that could take three to five minutes of good consistent stirring. Now this looks pretty good. So as you can see, it's got a nice green coat all the way around the seed. The cement mixer, I already have the seed preloaded. So what you want to do is just kick it on. And while it's turning, just simply and safely apply the inoculum. And again, you know, you'll want to let it turn for three to five minutes to get a good even coat. So as you can see, it's a nice green tint coated on all that seed. Next, I will get set up for using our liquid products. Now, the two pro the actually the four products I'll be demonstrating in this process is two of our drier dry products that need to be that are best applied with a liquid carrier. So that's Michael Green NPK and Rhizoback Extend. Both are five grams per acre in a four to six ounces per hundred pounds of a liquid solution. And so the liquid solution could be elevated fungi or seed flare. Both are compatible with those products. And then the two liquid products are gonna be elevated fungi with an application rate of six ounces per hundred pounds of seed and AEA seed flare at a application rate of four to six ounces per hundred pounds of seed. So to represent those products, I just simply have sugar for the Rhizoback Extend and Microgreen MPK, and then water with a green dye in one of these nice handheld spray canisters that, if you can see, has nice numbers on here, so you can really tell and see how that you're accurately applying it. <clears throat> so what you want to do is just simply... Add the dry product here. Uh, 
add the de desired amount. And then once you've done that, you take that product and don't vigorously shake it. Just get it, get gently stir it around until that product is dissolved in the sediment left. So here we have about 30 pounds of the cool season soil builder. <clears throat> so that's going to be roughly about three ounces or so of this product. So once again, I'll go ahead and start with the just the simple hand style. So you'll just pump your pump your spray canister up. And you want to adjust the tip to get a kind of a nice, not a super fine mist, but not a very coarse droplet either, kind of a medium type mist. So what I like to do is just kind of spray the top real good. Spray about half your product out. You don't want to spray it all out. Give it a good stir. and then come back and spray the remainder. I'll spray about four ounces out. I had it at 34. And you may want to spray and stir several times just so you don't get it too wet on top. And you want to stir this until the seed, <clears throat> for the most part, is dry to the touch. You don't want to be putting it in your spreader or your drill when it's wet. So, as you can see, we got a nice green, even coat around that seed. You probably also could find some kind of paddle for an electric drill. Might make that a little bit easier. And again, cement mixer, pretty simple. We're just gonna turn it on. And again, watch where the wind is. And this one's a little bit simpler. You can just sit here, pump up your stir, and just try to spray and shoot for the middle so you don't get it too wet on the outside. Now with this, you can let this sit and stir for, again, three to five minutes or so. Or until the seed is dry. You should be able to grab the seed by hand and it not stick to your hand very easily. You can also see in the inside of the cement mixer, You'll see the seed not sticking to the side. That's probably a good indication that you have stirred it long enough. Get in the light. Again, see there's a nice green, even coating around the whole seed. So again, this is for those of you that do not have the industrial size or commercial type mixer. It can be simply done to be able to utilize these biological products to help seed germination and help bigger growth early on in that seedling's life and just to get biology around that seed early on. And we have certainly have more resources available on our website, our YouTube page, and all of these products that I've demonstrated here today are available on the shop under the inoculants tab. And also please remember our smart mix calculator. And again, those are also available on our smart mix calculator when you're making mixes. But thank you for watching. If you have any questions, 
you can always call us and one of our friendly sales reps will be happy to help you. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. and God bless.